Okay, sorry to keep you guys waiting on this video. I was just super sick. I'm still super sick. It's this uh, pink eye thing that's going around. Yep. So anyway, this is the video about the genetics of Caucasians. First, Pontic step leading up to the Caucasus. In uh, Russian regions of Stavropol and steppe regions of Dagestan, two major ethnic groups live. Russians and Nagais. The Russians who live there are mostly of Cossack warrior origin, with deep roots in Central Russia and Ukraine. The Nagais are a Turkic group that can be modeled in G25 as a mixture of Mongolic, Siberian components, with Iranic and Mediterranean admixture. So you can see in this model that Cossacks from Kuban are pretty much typical uh, Europeans, and Nagais are pretty much typical Central Asians. Nagai is Mongolic versus Turkic. If we remove the Mongolic component and instead keep only the Turkic component, we will see that Nagais are mostly Turkic. Uh, you can see that the closest populations out of uh, ancient, ancient world populations in illustrative DNA to Nagais are Turks. Uh, however, not every Turkic component is the same, as even medieval Turkics were quite diverse. Uh, Nagais seem closest to Chornik Labuki Turks in the Volga Oka region of Central Russia. What's interesting is that these black Klobuki Turkics were actually absorbed within the Russian and Ukrainian ethnos. Uh, after the Volga Oka Turkics come the Karakhanids of Kazakhstan and Western Onuk Confederation Turks, and as you can see after the Turkic groups come Magyars, uh, Hans and Saka, uh, which really shows the continuity between Iranic-speaking Aryans, the Saka, in a step and their Turkic speaking descendants. Who do Nagais look like? <coughs> According to G25, Nagais are closest in autosomal DNA to Uyghurs. So, can you tell who is the Nagai and who is the Uyghur by pictures? I'll give you a hint two of these people are Nagais and two are Ud uh, Uyghurs. It's quite difficult to tell, they're very similar. Northeast Caucasus. In the northeast of the Caucasus, which I used to refer to the mountainous regions of Dagestan, Chechnya, and Echkeria, live the Chechens and Echkerians speaking the Nakh language, Avars, Lizgins, Tsaruls, Dargins, Laks, among others, speaking Avar Andic languages. These language groups are unique because they have no worldly relatives. In autosomal DNA, Chechens are a bit more typically human than natives of southern Dagestan, such as Avars or Laks. By that I mean, Chechens have a higher level of Anatolian farmer blood, which makes them more similar to other mainstream ethnicities, such as Turks or Greeks and others. On the contrary, Avars of Dagestan and others are genetically quite distinct from all other world populations, having an abnormal level of steppe and CHG admixture, together with an abnormally low level of Anatolian farmer admixture. I actually don't like saying admixture, because that implies these ethnicities were created through some random chain of events involving more ancient peoples, rather than simply being crafted with this kind of DNA. But you get what I try to convey here. These groups' DNA differs quite significantly, with Chechen's DNA being more typical for other human groups. Chechen's versus Avars in closest ancient groups. This might surprise you, but after North Caucasian Alans, who the Avars have a, a pretty high a pretty high distance to, to begin with, come uh, the Iron Age Iranics of Uzbekistan. So you see this uh, Khwarazm and Tratsuxiana, Iron Age Uzbekistan, that shows up for Avars. That is actually Iranic people from Uzbekistan that were kind of similar to Tajiks but without the Turkic admixture. So can you believe it's so, dis uh, it's so distant, it's so far away from Dagestan, and yet uh, at this point in time, in the Iron Age, they were similar to modern Avars. Very interesting. Whereas the Chechens are mostly similar to North Caucasus groups. They don't have this affinity towards the Iron Age Uzbek people. So from this follows this point. Similarity in faces between Lux and Tajiks. Uh, you could have used any other ethnicity in Dagestan. You could have said Lizgins or uh, Dargins. Uh, they all kind of look the same. So, similarity in faces between Lux and Tajiks. Lux were just the ones I chose because I found a lot of pictures of them online. So, guess who is the Lux and who is the Tajik? 
there is, um, I'm not gonna say how many Tajiks and how many logs there are here, because that might uh, reveal the question. And guess the who is the Chechen and who is the Spanish here. So because, Spa because the Chechens have more of this Anatolian farmer related stuff, and more typical Mediterranean admixture relative to Dagestanis, uh, I figured they might be similar to Spanish people. So, can you pick out who is the Spanish and who is the Chechen here? Let's move on to the Western Caucasus. Western Caucasus has a very deep history. Cities built by the Greeks and Romans and is actually among the European areas that adopted Christianity earliest. There were signs of Christianity even in the lands further east in Chechnya and Dagestan, but unfortunately, due to the brutality of the Russian Empire, these people chose eternal damnation just to avoid sharing a faith with the Russians. Oof. In Western Caucasus live Kartvelians, uh, Abkhaz, Circassians, and North Ossetians, who are actually Iranic speaking. How do these groups differ? There is a very clear trend that can be observed via PCA that Western Caucasians are more southwestern relative to Eastern Caucasians. In Georgia, this trend can be seen with Ossetians having a slight Eastern Caucasus drift shift due to the increased amount of Indo-European blood relative to Georgians or Abkhaz. Although Ossetians have Indo-European blood, theirs is very recent and comes from the Sarmatians. The people of Dagestan, I've discussed earlier, also have Indo-European blood, and in fact in much higher quantity, but in their case, it comes from a far more ancient admixture, preceding Iranics or Slavs, or any formation of any modern Indo-European ethnic group. So Ossetians versus Georgians, here is a comparison. Compared to Georgians from Svaneti, Ossetians are more shifted towards Circassians and people related to Circassians in Russia. And on the side of the Georgians from Svaneti in this vector are Georgians from Megrelia and interestingly Abkhazians, Abkhazci, which shows us that genetically Abkhazians are not Northern Caucasians at all and fall well within the Georgian ethnic range. Let's move on to South Caucasians. The history of Armenia and Azerbaijan is far too complex to cover in this video. I will sum it up as such. Number one, Indo-Europeans arrive. Number two, the world of Christ arrives. Number three, Islam arrives. Number four, Turkics arrive, bringing with them chaos, destruction and TAD. I will leave you to um I will leave you to decipher what that means by yourself. Armenians and Azeris actually aren't all that similar genetically. While Armenians occupy an intermediate position between Georgians and Assyrians, Azeris occupy an intermediate position between Armenians and Central Asians, Tajiks, Uzbeks, Hazaras, and even Balti. I'm not sure what Balti is, I think it's like a, a group of people in Pakistan, like Baltistan or whatever. I've heard that being used, but I don't know what that is really. Uh, now, here's a question you may, may have been asking yourself. Who is the whitest? To define white, I will use people from North Finland, and therefore whoever is closest to North Finns is the whitest among Caucasians. It seems that people of the Northeast Caucasus are the whitest, and people of the Southwest the least white. Interesting that this trend even persists in Azeri-Armenian region, with Azeris somehow being whiter than Armenians. Truly a spectacle. So you can see uh, it's Dargins, Avars, Laks, Kubachins, Cherkes, Chechens, and there is Azeris here in the middle. But Armenians are in the very end, so Armenians are very non-white. So does this trend apply to Turks and Greeks too? If the East is always whiter, so are the Turks whiter than the Greeks? Well, it seems they are. As you see, the closest population to our standard of whiteness, or Northern Finns, are the Turks, and the furthest population are the Greeks. So, you know, it's the, the closest population is Turkic, di, Turkish Dilirman, and the closest is Greeks from Trabzon. So, you could argue Balkan Turks are not Turks in regards to the Turks from Dilirman, but that would actually require a lot of coping and mental gymnastics to make this argument on your part. So yes, Turks are whiter than Greeks.